welcome to Sports Star's vlog of an outsider's view of the famous Kolkata Derby. We were at the Salt Lake Stadium in Kolkata this weekend to witness the first ever ISL Kolkata Derby which was happening on home soil. And this is what the view of the stadium looked like 2 and a half hours before kickoff. Now we completely expected this to be filled up, so we took a before shot just for reference. Teams then arrived for the derby soon after. This was ATK Mohan Bagan's home game, and so the colours and the festivities were all themed to this franchise. Fans gathered to catch a glimpse of Coach Juan Fernando and his boys. <laughs> Meanwhile, we spotted a very popular East Bengal fan casually sitting nearby. Can you spot her sitting there in her white and yellow sari? किसी को प्यार करना था पहले मेरा वो हस्बैंड था उसके बाद मेरा इस बंगल क्लब लेकिन हमको सब कोई प्यार करता है इस बंगल जीतेगा कि मोहन बगन जीतेगा हम बोलेगा नहीं लेकिन 50 50 मैच होगा बहुत लोग बोलते हैं बहुत लोग बोलते हैं हां 50 50 मैच वो मतलब क्या कारण रहते हैं डार्बी में कुछ बोलने नहीं सकता है ऊपर वाला बैठा है ना वो मारता है सब बहुत अच्छा था अभी भी अच्छा है उसमें उसमें प्लेयर लोग जितना अच्छा था भी अच्छा है लेकिन वो लोग उसको मैं क्या बोलते हैं छत्ती में लगा के खेलता था अभी आजकल प्लेयर लोग खाली पैसा देखते हैं किसी को पूरा नहीं मानना बेटा लोग तुम लोग कोई इंटरव्यू देखेगा तो लेकिन दिल लगा के खेलो फुटबॉल खेलो बस फुटबॉल सब को लिया बड़ा लग गरीब लग सब को लिया आपकी फैमिली में आप बोल रहे थे ना कि आप पूरे इस बंगाल सपोर्टर्स हैं सिर्फ एक दो लोग हैं जो मोहन बगान में तो फैमिली में कौन मौ... है मेरे ओनली फॉर मेरा भाई वाँ? था अच्छा लेकिन वो गुजर गया आज, आज आने के टाइम में उसको फोटो में देख के बोला भाई अमी डार्बी से जाची तो भलो था कि इसकी रिजल्ट तो का नहीं जानी ना हमारे हस्बैंड को भी बोल के आया भाई को भी बोल के आया ऊपर वाला देखो क्या करता है By the time we caught up with her, the time was 6:30 p.m. The stands were filling up by this time. We were afraid that some of the fans here might not even have voices left for the game. The Salt Lake campus is huge, and there were others completely unaffected by the fanfare, involved in contests of their own. Due to security protocol, since we had already entered the premises, we couldn't exit to observe the fans on the outer periphery of the stadium. A famous derby site is trucks of fans traveling to the stadium. See if you can spot them here. A line of ATK Mohan Bagan fans passed as well, inviting massive chants from the East Bengal fans who are gathered outside this very gate. Actually, I'm Swapnil Basu from Kolkata. I'm a die-hard East Bengal supporter. This derby is over 100 years old between two legacy clubs, East Bengal and Mohan Bagan. First time in ISL in a home match, and today is the away match for East Bengal. and this derby has a excitement of next level as you can see like people coming in from all suburbs of the city mm -hmm. and <clears throat> also from the state there are millions of supporters of these two clubs a small number of which comes here and there are a great number of supporters outside as well this rivalry has a great history heritage and is an emotion to all the bengalis present here that's all and today we are going to win joy is bengal 
there were fans of all ages and genders here. But I'm not really sure who this little guy was rooting for though. Yeah, my name is Ronak Chakravarti and she's my mother Chanchala Chakravarti. Okay. We have came a long way from Jamshedpur just here to watch the match. Oh, yeah. okay. Why do you support East Bengal? It's a generation. It has been passed on by my grandfather to my father and to me. It's like a legacy, living legacy. Okay. Do you come often for derby games? Yeah, but for the last past two years, because of COVID, we haven't been able to come. But today, we have to. Okay. Ab ke jati rehte She keeps attending matches. No, it's the first time. It's first time. Yeah. Oh damn! Nice, nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, my dad and me used to come here. Okay. How come you decided to come today? My mother just told me she wants to come. Nothing more. Nice. So, but I say. Like we used to keep telling her of the stories, like we saw this, we saw that, crazy things happen here in the stadium. So she also selects to go once. Uh, Ekbar to experience karna. Ekbar to banta hi. Uh. So what do you think of the East Bengal team now? Yeah, it has been previously. It has been a lot better than the previous one, and we hope to, you know, like put a formidable score at least. So let's see. And speaking of Mohan Bagan, like they are a set team now. They have been using that past team for past few years. So let's see if we can match them. Our team is also very good. Right? So let's see if anything can happen. In right. I'm glad you brought up Mohan Bagan. This is the last thing I'll ask you. They have their own problems going on right yeah, now with yeah, the sure. remove ATK yeah, thing. Yes. Do you think that dilutes your rivalry a little bit? Yeah, it really does. So when it was Mohan Bagan, it was a totally different story. But it is now getting a more than it has been like a lot, not a lot. But the rivalry doesn't change, does it? No, for some people it doesn't, <laughs> and we are in that category. Fair enough. Thank you so much for Thank talking to us. Good luck. Oh, before I forget. On match day minus one, we went to the Mohan Bagan tent to watch the players train and caught up with a few fans. From two different generations of Mohan Bagan fans, Shotrajit Sen and Pradeep Mukherjee spoke of their love for the club, the struggle with the merger, and the road ahead. Watch out for this chat. We'll be uploading that soon. Not affect me at all because I see green and maroon. I don't see anything else in football. And uh, well, still, you know, I'm a very optimistic guy. I always think positive, and I still feel sitting here today that this is going to be a result. It's a shock, right? That's what I believe. So, so this passion for Mohan Bagan generally essentially comes from within me, from within my family. Now the fact that this happened, the merger in 2020, now definitely to some extent it hurt me a little. But at the same time, we need to understand that in the present context, such an investment was in extremely necessary extremely important at this stage for playing in the ISL, for competing at this stage of Indian football with other teams. You needed a massive investment and for that Mohan Bagan needed something like this. But at the moment, my emotion is totally attached to Mohan Bagan. Mohan Bagan as a club, Mohan Bagan as an institution as he has rightly mentioned. At the same time, I believe that this ATK aspect will be resolved as soon as possible, this has been going on over some period and several people, several fans have been protesting over it. I believe that this will be resolved as soon as possible because, again, at the end of the day, the club is made for the fans. So the club will definitely, the club management will definitely act for in the interest of the fans because no club, especially a club like the National Club of India, Mohan Bagan, would want to lose its fans to a thing like this. Okay, back to the game now. We finally headed back to the press box at around 7:15 p.m. Kickoff here was delayed due to power outage related issues in the earlier fixture of the evening. But Salt Lake was nearing the 60,000 mark around which security usually restricts capacity crowd to for safety reasons. As we neared kickoff, the TFOs began to make appearances all from the East Bengal end. Another part of the Derby Stadium experience was the frequent fireworks going off in the stands. This is after the first goal was scored by Hugo Bumo. The players went over to the fence to celebrate with the fans.
Meanwhile, it was just silence on the East Bengal side. It's like when one side of a pair of headphones stop working. Around the 80th minute, by when East Bengal FC was down 0-2, fans began to leave. Nevertheless, it was a strong showing from both clubs for the derby, with 62,542 people in attendance. By the time the final whistle was blown, a spare section of East Bengal fans remained. Players headed towards the stands and a Viking clap followed. Someone also lit a sky lantern in Bagan colours, sending a message of the wind to the skies. How this, the flame to light the lantern and the fireworks got into the stadium, I don't know. At the post-match presser, ATK Mohan Bagan coach Juan Ferrando was distracted rather than in a jubilant mood. The coach said he was already prepping for their next game versus Mumbai City. You know, uh, we are professionals. Now we are, okay, we are happy, but it's very important to think about the finish match. It's, uh, in seven days, we have another match. We have uh, three points. You know, if we are... At the end, honestly, today is the day for our supporters. Enjoy the supporters uh, today and tonight, but for us, it's very important to change the game immediately. <coughs> to prepare the, the next match because three weeks ago we are we were not the worst team and now we are not the best team, you know, balance. I think here in India no exists a lot of balance, honestly. But uh, I think it's it's very important for us to keep calm, keep going, tomorrow we are thinking about it. East Bengal coach Stephen Constantine also lauded the atmosphere of the derby. Uh, firstly, I want to thank uh, both sets of fans, ATK Mombagan and uh, East Bengal fans, create a fantastic atmosphere. To play in front of, I believe, officially it was 62,000. I think there's a few more than that. But, uh, look, it's, it's fantastic, and both sets of fans were, were, were great. They were encouraging their teams, and uh, this, is, this, is, this is why we play football, this is why we play these games. It's, uh, Somebody asked me the other day, um, is, if you have pressure, it's a privilege, it's an honor to play in this game, it's not, it's not pressure, it's, uh, it's just great to be involved, uh, I'd like to win one of them, so uh, hopefully the next time we play them I, I get to win, that's the last game of the season. Play. Uh, the season is 20 games, plus the playoffs, and um, no one is going to win the championship, or will all make the playoffs in, in October or November or December. Uh, we take one game at a time. Uh, as I said, we, we, we have uh, um, we are trying to uh, lay the foundations for the future of uh, East Bengal, the money East Bengal, uh, and that takes time. Uh, we've seen uh, improvement in every game, in the four games, and uh, we will continue to improve. We'll see what happens by the end of February. Where we are. Understandably, the match was emotionally charged. But the battle worth watching was the one happening across the stands rather than that on the pitch. As someone who isn't from the city, a big part of this rivalry felt a little diluted for two main reasons. One, the sociological factors which polarise fans before aren't as extreme as they were in the heyday of this rivalry. And number two, both teams find themselves in interesting places in their own histories. East Bengal's years of financial instability have impacted team composition and consequently performances. While ATK Mohan Bagan deals with an identity crisis and the resultant ire of the fans. That said, one of India's oldest sporting rivalries is an experience which football fans, especially those from outside Kolkata, should have at least once.